بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین ویری ویلکم ٹو آر افسانہ سی یوٹیوب چینل ٹوڈے ونس اگین وی ہیو بردر ہانس حسن وکسروم ان دی پریویس ایپیسوڈ یو واچڈ ہیز جرنی ٹو فیتھ ہی ایکسپلینڈ ہاؤ ہی بیکیم مسلم اینڈ واٹ واز دا ڈفرینٹ اسٹیجز اینڈ ٹوڈے ویل ٹاک مور آفٹر دی Uh, becoming a Muslim, what challenges he faced in the society, what was the reaction of his immediate family, his friends, and uh, what are the future of Muslims in Swedish society, for example, for integration, and we see also some very uh, sad incidents like burning of Holy Quran. So mm. what he, as a Swede, what he uh, see the future of uh, Muslims in the society, and also how we can uh, Uh, teach our children uh, they are uh, uh, grow- growing up here in the Swedish society about Islam or Deen and uh, then uh, mainly his journey from Hans Wikström to Hassan so that will be very interesting to know so thank you very much once again Assalamu alaikum Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh You mentioned in the, in the previous uh, interview that uh, you had one month and then you studied the Holy Quran and after reading the Holy Quran, you were too much inspired and uh, y- you thought this is the word of God. And uh, after the uh, reading of the Holy Quran, you decided to convert to Islam. So while reading the Holy Quran in just one month, It took just one month. While reading the Holy Quran, uh, which parts of uh, the Holy Quran inspired you more? Hmm. I don't really remember right now, but something uh, was uh, something really uh, main thing who, who s- struck me. It was the, the thing about uh, uh, evil. Because evil. I, evil. Mm. Because I'm grown up with uh, in uh, in uh, thinking that uh, God is something like uh, God is like we call good, and uh, evil is something else. But uh, I realize that, of course, I mean, if we if we believe in one God, he must he must uh, be a God for everything. I mean, he. He must uh, have also power of everything. He has created everything. Yeah. So it was. I know that. I don't. I don't know if it was at that uh, under this mm, the first reading of the Quran. But uh, I, I know that it was a very important thing for me to realize that. Of course, uh, uh, he is. Uh, he is. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the creator of, of even the evil. I totally uh, resurrect uh, to that everything was from God. Everything is from God, and oh. uh, and uh, like in the in the in the Surah Falak, mm. that uh, that uh, he's uh, he's a God of uh, everything. Creator of yeah, creator. means uh, mainly the message of Tawheed. Yeah, yeah, that was absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Main, main thing. And I mean, and the and the and, and the the thing about Tawhid, it's something that, I mean, uh, it's we. I mean, I talking just for myself, but I think it's for everybody that it's something that we are are uh, working with all our life to really understand what Tawhid is. So because we are not acting, we are not living, we are not acting, playing with that uh, knowledge. in our life. Otherwise, we should act totally different than we do. So. But, but, but in Christianity, in Bible, there is yeah. also uh, about Tawheed. Yeah. Was you not, uh, how you can compare yeah, but, uh, Bible it, uh, and Quran's message yeah, of Tawheed? But, uh, but uh, when I grew up, I mean, the, the, in Christianity, the, 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 the Christianity I'm grown up with, it's not so, it's not so clear than Uh, than than the message we have about God, because they are Trinity and they are more. Uh, it's not so clear. I understand. I, yeah. I understand. Yeah. 
When you accepted the Islam and mm. Islam, there is a hadud Allah. There are the boundary walls. Yeah. We can't cross that. Yeah. Swedish society is a free society. Yeah. You was free to go. You was yeah. free to do any, a, yeah. anything. Yeah. Was it difficult for you to accept those boundary walls, restrictions? For me, I was. Uh, I think it was the opposite. I was actually. I was longing for to have something more. To hold on to, uh, not not I mean not uh, just uh, new restrictions or what you call also uh, uh, rituals. Rituals, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. longing for rituals because in the, in the church I was grown up we we actually we we don't have any special rituals that we have in uh, Islam. I mean we have the five five times mm -hmm. prayer and uh, many other things. And uh, of course, you're you're free to do what you want. But I mean, my 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 journey was uh, was very much about what you said: this freedom. What is freedom? But, but what I see, for example, if we preach some Swede, yeah. so they are living freely. So they are drinking. Yeah. They are going. Yeah. To everywhere and yeah. they have no restrictions, yeah. n no uh, imposed things upon them. So, w for them, how it will be acceptable to accept that religion or that mm. deen, mm. which restrict them not do this, don't drink, don't yeah. do the yeah. gambling, don't yeah. do these things. So, uh, for me, it's difficult to understand. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, maybe I, I'm not so. I'm uh, not so good to explain, but it, it has to do with the freedom, wh what freedom is, because you, you, I, my experience was that I, you, can, you can never be free, totally free as a human, uh, especially not to just follow what you want to do, mm. or you follow your, your desires that make you more, they, they make you more in the prison yeah. than to follow like uh, yeah. uh, rules that gi yeah. the, the gov God give you. I so, understand. So. Hassan, your uh, father and mother both were Christian missionaries. Yes. What was their reaction when you became a Muslim? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, when when I uh, when I come out, like you said, come out with this uh, that I have, uh, I will I will convert to Islam. Uh, the best reactions I get from them. Your yeah. parents. Yeah. They, they gave me the best reactions of if I compare with everybody. Uh, they, they reacted uh, in the opposite way. They were very positive. My, I, I will never forget what my, my father said. He said, I have, I have um, because he, all these years when I, after I left the church and I uh, went out for my journey for freedom, he was always praying to, for me and, and think that, yeah, he will come back someday. Someday he will come back, I mean. Mm. And so he told me that, yeah, I, I, I always, I, these years, I always thought that you will come back. But I, I couldn't uh, uh, imagine that you will uh, going to be Muslim. Mm. So for him, mm. for, for him, it was that I have come back, but I, I chose another. Mm. Hmm. Religion. I, I was also yeah. surprised to see your father wrote your story yeah. uh, to becoming a Muslim. So it was also amazing for me. Yeah. So uh, did you also uh, suggested uh, to your parents to read the Holy Quran, the message? Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, I, mean uh, I, I, of course, I, I do it. Uh, I do it, and I, I did it in in my way. I mean. Uh, most of the people, you 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 don't need to to write on their nose that what you they should do. I mean, uh, if someone want to know something or yeah, mm. they they I mean uh, they know that they mm. can do so. Mm. And what was the reaction of your relatives, friends, and close people? Yeah, there were very different uh, reactions. Uh, some friends uh, I still have. Mm -hmm. Contact with mm -hmm. some other day, yeah. Uh, approximately, how many Swedes are converted to Islam? Do you have any idea in Sweden? No, no, I don't. Is there any association which is uh, uh, organizing uh, new Muslims in Sweden? 
I don't know. I, I know people, they, some people, they are, uh, they are, uh, I mean, engaged in that kind of, of um, groups and project, but I, I don't know. But what do you see? So is there a conversion to Islam in Sweden? Of course there are, but I don't know how many there are. Um, so, and, uh, and all the people, uh, many people, they ask you uh, if we have some special group for, uh, for uh, Swedish Muslims, for Swedish Muslims or people who converted to Islam, but all the people, they have their own, uh, I mean, their own history. So, yeah. so co of course, we have these uh, things uh, common, I mean, together, but uh, Many people there have their own. So. Is this possible to preach the Swedes about Islam? How we can preach them? I mean, uh, I think uh, you, you, you. I mean, I think uh, you must. You must feel uh, feel what kind of person you 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 are in front. Oh, so. Because in your case, there was no preaching. It came. Uh, from your inner side, yeah. you was in search of uh, yeah. some hadaya, yeah. the right path. Yeah. You studied the Holy Quran yeah. and you said, this is the word of God. Yeah. I must accept this. Yeah. So in your case, no one did preach no, to you. No. But I do mean, you think pre preaching is helpful? Maybe for some people, but the others, the other they, they, I mean, uh, like, uh, you can you can uh, you can tell them whatever they will not I mean they will not listen mm. even if you have the the, the best arguments mm. so if you, if they are open they are open if they are not open mm. they you can say what you want. what are the challenges of Muslims in this society what are the challenges when someone is converted to Islam the challenges uh, I think the, the the big challenges is inside yourself yeah. If you decide, you can do. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the challenge you have in in uh, you have you have the challenge in, in yourself. And in generally, uh, if we say about uh, integration and there is Islamophobia, yeah. sometimes we also. Yeah. So, what do you see the future of Muslims in Sweden? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's a different question. I don't know how to. It it depends on what what, what I mean in the outer world or in the inner world. It's uh, I mean, uh, hmm. yeah. It uh, it can be uh, also very worldly matters. Yeah. How we can uh, educate our children? They are going to um, uh, grown up in this society, which yeah. is free society. They go to schools. Yeah they go to their jobs yeah. and uh, how we can teach them, how we can uh, try to, they should become good Muslims. Yeah, I think I have uh, three kids, so uh, with my experience, uh, the best thing I can, I can uh, think about it's that you, you do your best. Uh, I mean, you try your best to, to, to do to be as a good human with yourself. I mean, if you if you uh, do a good if you do uh, work on yourself, the, the children will will have a, maybe inshallah they will find a good example. I saw sometimes your kids. I think in yeah most. yeah yeah. I mean I mean I, I get uh, advice from uh, from uh, a brother for many many years ago. He's, he because he also saw my situation that mm -hmm. I mean uh, in the family we are not we are not uh, this typical Muslim family. He just uh, he said me that you you do a prayer. That's enough. You you don't need to talk. You don't need to speak to your children so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think all, all the the. Many parents they understand what I said because uh, we, um, if or generally if people don't want to listen they will not hear even mm. what you said. Mm. So, mm. but you must you must tell them in another way. Oh. But if, but if your children have seen you from there was 
so long as they can remember, they have seen that you are praying all the time. You're praying, oh, praying. So they will they follow will, you. Inshallah, they will yeah. follow you. And yeah. they will ask you something mm. if they want to. You know, the children, uh, they raise many questions and they yeah. have in their mind about Islam, yeah, of course. Uh, about uh, God, about yeah. uh, Prophet. And yeah. uh, I try to uh, reply those questions uh, yeah. in a book I gave yeah, yeah. the last yes. time. Yes. How do you see those books? Or helpful for the parents. Yeah, I, I really think they are helpful, and uh, and uh, and I also think it's it's um, it's different with the people who are in. If we are talking about Sweden, the people who are in Sweden, uh, and with their identity as a Muslim. I mean, many people they also come here. They are not uh, coming here with a religious purpose, but uh, but me, I met so many. Brothers and sisters, mm. most brothers, of course, they they uh, they came to Sweden. They they get uh, many problems, uh, many hardships here, and uh, they start to to they start to find that uh, uh, there are not so many places to go. They mm. they have uh, they mm. come to mosque. They start their 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 spiritual journey here in Sweden mm -hmm. and they, they, they maybe they were not religious at all uh, before, before. Yeah. so I mean exactly. so I mean it's mm. it, it, uh, it actually it doesn't matter where you mm. are or where you go it's uh, uh, so um, I mean I try to say that for me, it's different for me it's uh, uh, it's not the same situation for me than for people who are here they f they feel uh, there, they are a minority in Sweden. Minority, yes. Like be, just because they are Muslims, mm -hmm. or actually just because they come from a Muslim country. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's not the same thing than for me because I, I, um, I chose this religion. Yeah. And and it, when I come to a mosque, for example, many times I feel I like a minority, and in mm -hmm. in the. Mm. You know, in the group of mm -hmm. Muslims, I mm -hmm. feel like a man. Mm -hmm. And I have many, many also funny, funny stories about mm -hmm. how Muslims react on me mm -hmm. when, I, when I'm there in the mosque. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I think I, I, I didn't tell the, the, the last bit of that story, uh, but it was very special for me because uh, it was, uh, I, I said my Shahada in uh, Stockholm. And then I, for uh, after some month, I went back to Stockholm, uh, and one brother who took me around in Stockholm to show me all the the places uh, you can uh, go and pray in Stockholm. And uh, we have been to to the big mosque in Mirbarplatsen and Sveavägen, uh, Appelbergsgatan, the Hörtorget. Yeah. And, and then we come here, and he said, "Yeah, this is a mosque." And I was like, "Subhanallah." Mashallah. And how you uh, learned this uh, Salat and some other... Yeah, it was like this. Um, when I said, uh, I, I was uh, telling you that uh, I was in Stockholm and I, I said my Shahada in the big mosque. And then I, I before I called, uh, I called an old uh, uh, working friend uh, because I, I know that he was a uh, practicing Muslim. And uh, so I called him and, and tell that uh, I, I decide to be a Muslim. Can you, can you uh, help me to show me how, how you can pray? So I went to his home. It was maybe, it was, yeah, it was one, yeah, it, maybe the, the same day or the one day after I said my Shahada, I went to this uh, brother's home. And I stayed there for two nights, and he showed me everything. Mm -hmm. He was very kind. Uh, he showed me everything that I need to know with wudu and many things and salah. And he get uh, and in the night, in the evening, he got a phone call from a neighbor in the. He mm. was uh, living in Jordbro. So he, he get a phone call and, and uh, the neighbor said, yeah, yeah um, you must come because I, tonight I'm going to have a, a special guest. He's a holy man like mm. that. Mm. So you must come. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big chance for you to meet this man. Mm. 
So he said, uh, yes, uh, Hasse, you please uh, come, come with me. You will meet a special person. Mm. And I went there. I, I didn't know anything. I went there and uh, it was, uh, it was uh, 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 Sufi Sheikh, Nachspandi Sheikh from Turkey. And he was uh, in a tour in uh, Europe. So we were there and uh, I met this wonderful man. Uh, he's not living anymore, Rahimullah. But, uh, and he couldn't also speak English, so, so we had, uh, he, he's, one of his uh, students or his murids was uh, translating. And he just asked me some questions and uh, he asked me what, uh, what is my name? I said Hasse, so he took a small card and write Hassan on that card. So actually that is the story from Hans to yes. Hassan. Yes. And then he said that uh, when people uh, uh, converted to Islam or when people said Shahada, uh, it's a tradition that, uh, that uh, that person will have a gift. So my gift to you is that you will say La ilaha illallah hundred times every day in the whole or in your whole life. That's my gift to you. So, so that uh, you got advice from that sheikh. Yes. He was Naqshbandi. Yeah, Naqshbandi. And, and uh, he has, uh, I don't know how many there were, but maybe 10 persons. And uh, some of them were also murids uh, who were living here in, in Stockholm. And one of them, uh, he said that uh, because he heard that I was living in Göteborg, so he said, yeah, uh, I will give you a number to a brother who was living in Göteborg. So he took this card, the, the, the name Hassan was written on this card, and uh, it was uh, this, what uh, heter uh, Visiting card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he write uh, on the same, uh, the number of this person. And uh, I mean, this card, it was, I mean, uh, it's amazing because everything until today, everything I have, I, all the contacts I have, it's written on this card. So, I mean, this, this was a key person for me. This, this sheikh I met, it was a key person for me because I was very, I was uh, a little bit afraid because I knew that now I am going to into a new world mm. with people. Mm. Mm. And I, I, I also felt because, okay, uh, people are people. I have this experience from, uh, I was a child, also that uh, uh, religious people, there are many groups and they are, yeah. Yeah, you know? Exactly. And it's, it's, it's uh, in this, uh, I mean, around Muslims, we have the, almost the same, problems with group, yeah. groups and sects. Exactly. Sex. Yes. So my, I, I, was all, I was really begging to God that please, please let me meet the right, I mean, let me be, uh, meet the right person from the start. Mm. So I, I don't need to go all the, yeah. this, the... So it was amazing because I, 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 I met the right person. The, 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 the sheikh was from uh, Turkey. Turkey, yeah. Oh, what, what was his name? Uh, his name was uh, Sheikh Esad. Sheikh Esad. Josan. Naqshbandi. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean uh, I'm not a member of that tariqa, but I mean, all the tariqas, they are connected, of course. So, and, uh, and so that was the interesting, your journey from Hans Wikström yeah. to Hassan. And yes. from that day, you become Hassan. That's yes. very interesting. Yeah. And uh, then you also uh, learn the Holy Quran, some surahs. Yeah, then I, I, st I, I, I slowly start to, to, uh, to learn. And I can, I can read some surahs and some ayahs. Uh, and, uh, I mean, yeah. So, can you please recite the surah Fatiha? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm al-Din, Iyaka Na'abud wa Iyaka Nasta'in, 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين ما شاء الله ما شاء الله so at the end will you give some message to our viewers yeah i know that uh, there are there, uh, there are so much talk about this uh, burning of the holy quran and uh, Yeah, uh, the, the, this uh, country, Sweden, is uh, it's, uh, on, the, on the news. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's very, I, I feel very ashamed for what's happening. And, um, but uh, Ali, in the same time, I... Uh, We must also remember that everything what happened it's, it's uh, what uh, also that uh, God it's uh, allow it yeah. allow what has happened. When this Holy Quran burning is in the media and mm. everyone is talking. So what do you think? Uh, is there chance that some Swede will explore what is in Quran? Of course. They will come to Quran. They will of read course. it. Of course. Of course. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm sure that it, that it is because uh, you, can, you, can, you can feel it on different levels. But uh, for example, I, I met, I heard or I met uh, many people there that I, I have, I, I couldn't, uh, I'm surprised that they are reacting so negative about the burning of Quran. I couldn't imagine. Swedes. Yes, Swedes. Swedes. And I, could, I, I know them, I, I couldn't imagine that, oh, oh, he and she, they are reacting so, mm. so, so negative about negative. the burning. And, and that's a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. no, the majority of these fields, they yeah. want to ban. I, it must be, it must be some, some people, they must uh, start to wonder, but, but what is this about? about? Uh, what, what, what is written in this book? Yeah. What is, what, what is it so why is it is so special what why why people have so much feelings about this what's the inside yeah so maybe if they will come across to the teachings of holy quran yeah. they will get inspiration like you yes uh, yeah I'm, i'm sure that it will be but it also uh, i mean uh, i mean it, it's not easy topic because think about our brothers and sisters in China for example mm. they're living in a in a totally yeah. different yeah. Uh, I mean world I mean yeah. uh, I mean if you compare with them they they are in they are in chains yeah. yeah they cannot even maybe they cannot even they chose if they will will eat the pork or not I mean yeah. I mean, exactly. I mean you, you must also you must compare I mean if you If you are living in a, in a world or in a in a free world, you call you can express your uh, faith. You can mm. you can do your uh, things that you mm. want to. Then you must also it must be open for the others. I mean, yeah. you must. I mean, you cannot. Uh, yeah. Right now, the 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 model we have. It's this, I mean, the, with that we call democracy, okay? Yeah. It's not a free world, but it's, uh, it's a, free with a free world in the limit. No. Yeah. But we hope maybe there will be some change in the existing law or yeah. there will be Absolutely. some new law. So yeah. as the yesterday also the Prime Minister of Sweden yeah. said that they are thinking, so we hope yeah. for the better prospects. Absolutely, because it's, it's, it's uh, kind of absur uh, absurd that to burning books can be a, a freedom of expression. I mean, it should be the opposite. The burning books, it should be the, the I mean, it should, it, it's a sign for the opposite, I yeah, think. So, exactly, exactly. So, right. so it's, it's uh, in many ways, I think it's, uh, it can come good things from mm -hmm. this, I'm sure. We hope for the better prospects. Yeah. God is the one who give the, the, the Hidayat. And I mean, they had Hidayah, it's, it's nothing that you, you, it's not a ticket that you once gave and then you have mm -hmm. it. It's something that you, all, we, everybody should 
asking for this idea. Also, we we also do it every time we we recite. Surah Al-Fatiha, yeah. we're asking for Hidayat, so it's no, something that we should do. And the, yeah. and the, actually the word is perfect. Exactly. The, everything is perfect. So. At the end, will you give some your message uh, to the viewers you, uh, uh, or anything which we have not discussed and you wanted to say something? I don't know, I don't know but uh, it's a good re reminder for me. Uh, and I, if it's for others, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, just to remind that, 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 that everything is perfect. God is our creator. And uh, there are nothing more than, uh, than uh, God we should have in, in our mind or in our hearts. That, mm -hmm. that's our for me, it was also much inspiring that how a Swede uh, in one month, just reading of the Holy Quran, he was much inspired. So I think it's a lesson for us, for those who born in the Muslim families, mm. but have not explored this Quran, have not read this Quran. Mm. They should try to read, understand, and think as Quran says, Tata Yeah, yeah so, and to be and, and really uh, try to be as open you can. Uh, to 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 God what he will give you mm -hmm. so so that your that the, your goal is that whatever it comes in your way it's from at you you will surrender and you you will just feel uh, comfortable that the, this is mm -hmm. from God and the, this is mm -hmm. what you should uh, should uh, accept brother Hassan thank you very much for thank your you. precious time and uh, thanks very much uh, for watching this interview. If you like this interview, please uh, share with others and uh, please write your comments uh, uh, after watching this both episodes if you and uh, remember in your prayers and thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.